Are you looking to bolster your Pokemon TCG collection and don't know where to start? Well, you've came to the right place. Here are my top five undervalued Pokemon TCG cards worth buying right now. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, TCG Funhouse, where we talk all things Pokemon TCG. And that's right guys, it is Monday, so you know what that means. We are going back to the old trusty five undervided Pokemon TCG cards that are worth buying and adding to your collection right now. I do most of my shopping over on TCG Player and sometimes occasionally on eBay. You can get a little bit better prices, but when you see those prices flash up on the screen, that comes from TCG Player, who I find to be a very reputable website to buy singles if you do your research and you're buying from trusted sellers. If you enjoy TCG Funhouse content, please drop a sub, guys. It really helps show me that you appreciate the content. And according to the YouTube analytics, over 70% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So it's extraordinarily important for me and makes me feel all warm and fuzzy in my tum-tum. But I'm not going to make you guys wait any longer. It is time to get into those five undervided Pokemon TCG cards in no particular order. And today, we're starting off the list with a legendary bird, but not one of the primary three that you're thinking. We're going Ho-Oh from the Johto region, in particular the Sun and Moon promo rainbow card that came inside the Shining Legends premium collection box. That's right, you can consistently get this rainbow Ho-Oh GX card still right now for under ten dollars which is an absolute steal if this rainbow ho, ho was not a promo card and was inside of a set i don't know maybe something like a lost thunder or celestial storm or even shiny legends i guess since that's the set it's associated with it would be worth significantly more than it is right now which is crazy to me because even in near mint condition which make sure you guys are always buying near mint when you're making purchases to bolster your tcg collection there's only 33 near mint of these on tcg player right now which is a very low number especially when you take into account the new sword and shield era printing that has hundreds and hundreds of cards available so to get a rainbow legendary fan favorite bird for under 10 bucks is an absolute steal for me this card looks great it looks phenomenal it's the same artwork as the shiny version that comes inside of hidden fates which is another fantastic card worth adding to your collection but the rainbow itself being under 10 bucks and what i like about it more than anything is this actually came inside of one of the most expensive products of the sun and moon era the shining legends premium collection which still to this day consistently sells for over 300 dollars over on ebay so it's not like people are going to be getting this promo card in bunches and waves inside of this box because it's just not worth opening up at this time so adding this to your collection as a single is a much more affordable way to get it than buying the sealed product and that's why it's here at number five on today's list moving forward on the list to number four is a pseudo legendary pokemon that has really come back with a vengeance with the bdsp and legends arceus series and that is garchomp with cynthia back in the forefront for bdsp it is amazing to see how much her garchomp has made players cry it took me two times to beat here he swept he swept my team the first time i went to the elite four just i'm sorry i have sometimes I have to speak about my traumatic experiences um but we're going with the baby shiny from hidden fates that's right guys i wish this pokemon had gotten a full art print inside hidden fates but it didn't but the guard chomp here is very consistently under four dollars right now closer to three dollars and fifty cents and it's baby shiny form so again you have a fan favorite pokemon a pseudo legendary one of the most powerful pokemon in the entire pokemon genre right here at three dollars and fifty cents in its shiny form and to my recollection this is the only shiny guard chomp that we have ever gotten inside the tcg if i'm wrong on that please let me know down in the comment section but through my research i have never found another shiny version of this there are other secret rares and stuff like that but no shinies so the fact that i mean you can't really tell the shiny the shiny coloring is like very very similar but that doesn't matter it still is an amazing pokemon and the fact that you can get it in its shiny form for under four bucks is a good steal hidden fates is 
really down in price right now. I don't know why some of the singles have been coming down. The sealed product has been coming down, which is strange to me because it's not like we have gotten a, a big print wave or anything like that. So maybe we'll get some more. I highly doubt it though. So the fact that I don't think we're ever going to see Hidden Fates being printed again really makes me think that the Hidden Fates singles are just ripe for the picking right now. So pick some of those undervalued cards up. Add them to your collections. Shiny forms. Hidden Fates. It's just a good buy all the way around. Number three on the list here is one of my favorite Pokemon, and that is Lucario. A massive fan favorite in the Pokemon community is Lucario. And I'm going back to Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds for the tag team Lucario and Melmetal full art card. The regular full art that has the silver background and the blue edging on the Pokemon, it is such a beautiful card. The contrasts look phenomenal, and there's really not that many of these cards available right now. Only 28 of these in near mint condition over on TCG Player for a very low price of only $6.80. That is not a lot at all for a card like this. Now, it did go up from where it was at $5.75, so again... The consensus for the Pokemon community is that this card is undervalued and people started to buy it up. So still at $6.80, I believe it is still a good buy. If it goes back down to $5.75, $6 range, definitely load up on it because there's just not that many. Lucario is a massive fan favorite, very underrated and undervalued as a whole in general in terms of popularity and if he ever gets the spotlight again in the anime or in a movie or in a game or something like that his cards are going to explode and this is one of those underlooked cards for lucario you have to go to page number two under his cards to find this it is a full art it is not that common whatsoever and it is just a great awesome looking card beautiful artwork beautiful aesthetics with the blue and silver reflecting off each other definitely worth buying I do wish it was paired with a different fighting type other than Melmetal because I don't think Melmetal has that much of a fandom even with the Pokemon Go community. But that being said, it still is a phenomenal card and a good buy for me at $6.80. The Lucario and Melmetal Tag Team GX Full Art from Unbroken Bonds. So sticking with the theme of cards under $10, at number two here, I'm going with the Venusaur and Celebi Tag Team GX Alternate Art card, the one that came inside of those 10s that released with uh, Sun and Moon Team Up. It was that era of the Team Up cards that I believe are undervalued at the moment, and this artwork is one of those that is just like my previous entries of the Umbreon and the uh, you know Umbreon Darkrai, Espeon, Deoxys Alternate Arts, these cards are so amazing. The artworks on them are so good. And the Venusaur and Celebi are no different. These are absolutely phenomenal. This card is only $7.60 market price over on TCG Player. And there's only 34 of them in near mint condition. So you can see the kind of things that sway me into buying cards. How many of them are there available? Um, what is the price range? Is it affordable? And do they have fan favorite Pokemon? Those are the big three that I kind of focused on for this particular list. And when you see this card in person, you will understand why I think it is extraordinarily undervalued. There is this misconception, misconception? Who speaks English around here? That... Um, Black Star promos are really not that collectible, and I completely disagree. There is not that many of these out there in the open and in the wild, as opposed to even like your regular GX, regular Tag Team GX cards. And when you compare that with the artwork and the affordability, like these are just no brainer purchases, guys. These are no brainer. 10, 15 years from now, when people see these artworks of Venusaur and Celebi and the Darkrai and Umbreon, people are going to be like, holy crap, that era was so underrated and so phenomenal. And I completely agree with that sentiment. That's why it's here at number two. The final slot on today's list, if you guys have watched my previous videos on this, you know I like to give you a couple of cards or a mixture of cards uh, instead of just one individual card. And here to finish off today's list is going to be the Reshiram and Zekrom Celebrations Classic Collections cards. They have just continued to fall in price and they're at the point right now where I don't know how much farther they're going to come down. The Zekrom consistently can be bought for about $3.50, $4, and the Reshiram for about $2.50 to $3 over on TCG Player. 
Now, unlike what I said before, these are very plentiful right now. The supply on these is extraordinarily high while the demand is low, which a lot of times means it's a good time to buy with them being so low. If you have seen these cards in person, you know how stunning and how beautiful they are when they just shine and reflect off the lights, and they're just phenomenal freaking cards. And over the next couple of years, we are due for a black and white remake of the video game, and if they do that pretty soon, you can definitely see Zekrom, Reshiram, and cards like Kiram definitely getting more of a spotlight once again, and they're going to go up in price once they start releasing into new TCG sets and all of that. It's going to be a good buy right now because they're so affordable. They are so low in price. I don't really see... This is probably the safest pick that I have on today's list. I don't see how these are going to go down is where I was getting at. And I don't know, honestly, how much more or if any celebrations that were going to get printed. Because you guys know that normally the anniversary sets do not see as much of a reprint as standard sets or even other subsets like Shining Fates. They just keep throwing Shining Fates in our face. I don't know if that is going to happen with celebrations. I have a feeling that we might get some more celebrations around holiday time just because it's the most popular set that has uh, come out in the last couple of years. Um, so that might happen. But after that, and once we get into Generation 9, you can just say so long to celebrations. We're not going to be getting it as frequently and as much as we are for the other subsets. Like, I can even see Pokemon Go being printed significantly more and longer than Celebrations was. So that's why here at number one, I have the Zekrom and Reshiram uh, black card and white card from Celebrations. It is such a good steal. So low, so valuable. Nice little safe pick. And that's it, guys. That is it for today's list of top five undervalued Pokemon TCG cards that you can find online right now at very, very low and good steal prices that will make any collection look better and grow in price and value over time. If you're new to the channel, please drop a sub and hit that like button. It really, really helps out. As of right now, we're still going live on Fridays for Box Break, TCGFunhouse.com. If you want in on that, I do have more membership exclusive content coming soon. So if you want to be part of that, please join the memberships click that join button down below and we are going to be bringing back giveaways very very soon so make sure you guys stay tuned and pay attention to that follow us on the socials so you stay up to date on everything that's happening over at tcg funhouse but thank you for spending time with me today i hope you have a wonderful night